Hi guys, my name is Christine and I'm a dating, relationship and personal development coach. And so now I'm talking about do this when she hits you back up again. So if you've um, been dating someone for a while and uh, perhaps they lost a bit of interest and they disappeared for a little while or perhaps this is an ex, what are you going to do basically when she starts reaching out to you? Like if she reaches out to you, what do you do? So if this was for someone who... Um, you were dating that just sort of disappeared then the first thing that you need to do is when they reach out to you don't be mean or cold to them especially if you are hoping to you are, you wanted this to happen right if you wanted them to come back then don't say anything to them that can make them disappear again right to scare them off right because you never know why someone has lost interest you never know why someone has disappeared right they could have a lot of things going on in their life um, for example, you know, perhaps they had to move or perhaps they were just having some emotional issues. Perhaps they went through a tragedy. Perhaps they lost a lot of money and they've been, just been feeling awful about themselves. Um, perhaps they've, you know, they've been in pain. Perhaps they had an injury or perhaps they've just been away for family reasons. Perhaps they haven't been in town, right? So there could be many reasons as to why. Don't just assume that she disappeared because she's ignoring you or she's being mean to you or anything like that because it might not be that case perhaps you just needed some time away and now she's back so if you want her back right and if you want to keep on dating her then you've got to make sure that when she reaches out to you that you say something positive like hey it's great to hear from you when are you free to hang out again you know that's what you've got to say if this is someone that you want to continue dating but if it's someone that you don't want to continue dating then just don't reply to the message you know, just don't reply to it or block her. So she can't even reach out to you anyway, especially if you're upset by the fact that she disappeared on you and she maybe ghosted you, right? If, you, if you're not happy with that behavior, you shouldn't have to tolerate it, right? It's your life. You don't have to respond. You can block their number and stuff like that, okay? But if it's someone that you want, if it's someone who you genuinely want to start dating again, then you have to be more positive when she reaches out to you. You have to be like happy to hear from her and you have to act basically as if her disappearing didn't affect you whatsoever and you don't care. You're okay, you're still gonna live your life and you're still gonna do what you're gonna do whether she's there or whether she's not, right? And that's kind of the attitude that you, you send out when you say that you're really happy to hear from her and you can't wait to hang out again. You're asking her when she's free. So if this is an ex, right? Someone who's broken no contact, right? And they've reached out to you. How do you respond then? So if this is someone who you once with, you've applied the no contact rule, no contact has worked, and your ex has finally reached out to you. Now, you need to think, okay, do I really want this person back? Because you want to make sure that you're not just looking at the relationship with nostalgia, because that's something that a lot of people do. And that's sometimes why sometimes couples get back together when really they should just stay broken up. They think back when they first met and how great it felt then. They rarely think about the last few months or the weeks leading up to the breakup, where there was probably a lot of arguments, a lot of crying, a lot of uh, horrible energy about, right? Because usually breakups happen slowly over time, generally, especially in long-term relationships. Right? There's usually signs that things are going downhill, you know, like there's more frequent arguments, um, there's a lot more tears, the, there's, there's like a sense of like you're walking around eggshells, you know, when you're around them, you know, you try not to set them off uh, and things like that. So there's usually signs and people rarely think about that time before the breakup, they think back on the good times, they don't think about the bad times. So you need to really think about this and think, okay, so they've reached out to me, They've said, hey, how are you? Or whatever it is. Do I want this person back in my life? Okay. Now, if let's say you broke up and it was just because of a big misunderstanding, like let's say they thought that you cheated on them when actually that didn't happen at all, or a third party got involved, perhaps there's, that she's, he or she's got a friend that um, doesn't like you and they started spreading lies about you, then maybe that's a better indication that you can get back together because you know that you've truly lost a good egg right? Because if you feel like, you know, this, this ex of mine was a really nice person, we had a great bond, we had a good time with each other, it was really nice, they're a lovely person, I feel really unfortunate that I've lost them, then that's a good sign that you should get back with your ex. But if it wasn't like that, and that you didn't really like their behavior, perhaps they were mean or they were nasty to you in some way, and you feel like, you know, maybe even when you were breaking up, 
you know, or you, before you broken up, you was thinking about breaking it up yourself. You was thinking about breaking up with them themselves. So if you're thinking about things like, oh yeah, you know, I really wish I could go back to my old life. If you are thinking about those sorts of things while you were in that relationship leading up to the breakup, you know, like, oh yeah, I really wish I could get back to doing my own thing, having my own time. I really miss that. Then it's probably a good idea that you guys broke up, right? So if they are a good egg and you really regret losing them and you really want them back, then when they reach out to you and they say, hey, how are you? Then say to them, hey, you know what? I'd really love to have a catch up with you. When are you free? Right, and then you meet up and you try and reconcile things and get things back on to how they used to be. And maybe, or maybe you take things slow and you just date them once a week for a while, kind of treat it like a regular courtship, which I think is sometimes a wise thing to do depending on the circumstances of the breakup. But sometimes that's a really good thing to do. So, but if it's someone that you, you know, if it's an ex you know you really shouldn't be getting back together with, then the best thing to do is to ignore them or block their number or block them or something like that. Um, or maybe, you know, you can be honest and just say, you know what, I'm just not interested in speaking to you anymore, if that's okay. Or something like that. Because what happened with me with, so a story that happened with me and an ex of mine was um, we were only together for about three months. I'm not really even sure if you can call it like a relationship because it was so short. Um, But I broke up with her and she, I think she unfriended me on Facebook. And then a couple of weeks later, she added me again and I accepted because I I just didn't really care at that point. Um, And she um, messaged me saying, hey, how are you? And, you know, we were talking back and forth a little bit and um, I was considering hanging out with her again because, again, I was looking at it with nostalgia, thinking about the good times, right? But one of the things that had put me off about her and one of the reasons why I wanted to break up was that she was a compulsive liar and she would lie about so many different things, um, really big things as well. It's not like they were small things. Um, they weren't like white lies. They were just fl- flat out lies, right? She said um, that she had a brother that had committed suicide, that kind of thing. Um, she'd said when that brother didn't even exist, she just had one sister. Um, so she didn't even have a brother. Um, she said that this brother was like adopted and things like that. All these crazy stories. Um, and she also once told me a story. I can't remember the exact story, but I remember that she told me a story on a date and it was like really funny and stuff. And then the the day afterwards, like I saw her a week later and she told me the exact same story, but this time it was with different people, right? Different people were involved and it was the same sort of like pattern of the story. It was the same punchline at the end and it was just really weird and honestly a little bit creepy, right? So I was thinking about that and thinking, you know what? I really shouldn't be meeting up with this girl again. This is a, this is not a good idea. So I cancelled and we never met up anymore. But as you can see, that's something like a ne- what an ex might do. Um, you know, they may reach out to you. They may say something just simple like, hey, how are you? It might not be anything big like, um, oh, I miss you. I want to get back together with you. It'll be something a little bit more subtle. But that's how I dealt with that situation when I knew it was an ex I really didn't want to get back with. I did have a big think about it, but I did also consider, you know, hanging out with them again because I was um, looking back on the relationship with nostalgia so that's something else to think about as well so thank you so much for watching if you'd like to get in touch with me personally and you'd like coaching with me then please go to www.christineloveridge.com and I shall talk to you again very soon goodbye